God rejected us. Hey, if you hey, you get old enough and you don't want to follow your parents' rules, you got to go. Hey, when we had, when we didn't want to keep the most high rules, we had to go. Bring it up. He kicked us right up out the land. Bring it up. He sent us right into slavery. He said, you don't want to follow me? Guess what? You want to follow your oppressors. Because we were destroyed here. They destroyed us mentally. You understand? Read. Baruch chapter 3, verse 8. Bring it out. Bring it up. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are what? Yet this day. Right here today. In our captivity. We're still slaves. Read. Right. Where right. thou hast scattered us. We've been scattered throughout this whole earth. Read. For a reproach and a curse. And a what? And a curse. And you're going to find out later, the Most High put curses upon us. Those curses are identification markers to know that we are the children of Israel. It's our history book. Read. And to be subject to payments. To be subject to what? To payments. What is that called today? Being subject to payment. <laughs> you know, taxes, bills. Uh, we're not paying for things that should be naturally free. Right. Water. Hey, if you bought property, do you really own that property? Bring it up. If you don't pay Bring what? Your taxes. Hey, they're going to come back and take your property, right? Right. Take that house that you paid for. You don't pay your taxes. Right. They said we'll be subject to what? And to be subject to payments. We're going to be subject to payments. As yeah. long as we're here, guess what? We're subject to payments. Another nation is ruling over us. Bring it up. They've been ruling over us for the last 400 years. Read. According to all the iniquities of our fathers. For all the sins of our forefathers. Right. That's why we're here. Which departed from the Lord our God. We departed from the Lord God by not keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. Right. You understand? Because now, you had a little knowledge of the Bible, right? Where did you learn that from? Church. From church. Let me ask you something. What did they supposed to teach you in church? What did they teach you? What was the priest supposed to teach you in church? Uh, the Lord, the, the teacher. Let me show you what the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it up. For the priest's lips. Hey, that would be your preacher, right? Read. Should keep knowledge. He should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law at they, his mouth. They should seek what? The law. The what? The law. The what? The law Read. at his mouth. That's what the priest should have been teaching you. Right. Let me ask you one simple question. You know, this is a very simple biblical question. If you were going to church and they were teaching you properly, what is sin? Sin. Sin is the root of all you. Now I'm asking you, what is sin? Of course, it's the Bible. What is, what is sin? Come on, man. We're coming to Jesus Christ, brother. Think about it. I told you. Hey. The wages of sin is what? Hey, come on. Then you shouldn't you know what sin is? is the wages of it, bro. the payment of it, is death? <laughs> Shouldn't they teach you that simple principle? Bring it up. Right? Read it. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it up. Whosoever committed sin. Whoever commits sin. Transgresseth also the law. Transgresses the law. Breaks God's law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is the breaking of God's law. Right. That's why they rule over us. Give me Judah 5 and 20. Bring it this out. is the reason why the nations rule over us. They keep us in sin. Bring it out. When they conquered us, put us in slavery, guess what they gave us? They gave us something worse than crack. Right. They gave us religion. Bring it out. God didn't give you religion. God gave you law. Right. He gave you law, statutes, and commandments to follow. You understand? That's what God gave us. And our people have fallen into sin because we accepted the religions of our oppressors. Yeah. We accepted that religion of our oppressors. Read. Judas chapter 5 verse 20. Get out. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people. First, let me uh, understand, these are two heathens speaking about us. Two generals speaking about us. Read. Now therefore, my Lord and Governor, if there be any error in this people, and they sin against their God. If they do what? Sin against their God. Which is what? Breaking God's law, right? Let us consider that this shall be their ruin. This shall be their what? 
this shall be their ruin. That's right. Hey, this one will destroy them. This is how we'll put them in captivity. And let us go up and we shall overcome them. We'll go up and then we can defeat them if they're in the sin of their God. Read. Bring it up. But if there be no iniquity in their nation. If there don't be any sin in their nation. Let my Lord now pass by. Hey, let us keep walking. Yep. Let us not deal with these brothers because their God will do what? Bring let their Lord defend them. They do what? Let their Lord defend them. They don't want to come up against the children of Israel when we're keeping the laws. Right. You understand? The Most High will defend us. That's right. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 10. Because you got to understand something. When we keep God's law, that's when fear come across the nation. That's right. Because they understand we're united. We're standing strong. The Most High is with us. As long as we're in the midst of sin, hey, we're defenseless. Bring it up. We cannot stand up against our enemy. You understand? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 10. Bring it up. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. They shall be what? They shall be afraid of thee. You know how they love across the street when you're coming? Imagine how they feel when they see the men of the Lord keeping God's law. Right. 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 They're going to be afraid because they know that their time is up. Right. They know that their end is at hand. Bring and that the children of Israel shall go back into the rulership of this earth. Bring it up. That's, That's right. what they don't want you to know. The Most High did not forsake us because he gave us um, slavery. This is the time that we should be getting ourselves right. Coming right. back to the Most High's laws. Right. You understand? I'm going to give you a simple law. That hey, we as a people are breaking. Give me numbers 15 to 30. This is a you simple know. law. I'm gonna give you this law. You gotta understand that how many laws are there? 12, 15. You see, our people think that this is actually called the book of the law. A book of the law, this thick with only 10, 15 laws, is 613 laws. 613. But remember, your oppressor wants you in sin so he can rule over you. That's why we wasn't taught. That's why your preachers did not teach you the laws. Bring it out. That is a slave teaching. Teach them to break God's laws. You understand? Bring it up. When you break God's law, you in the midst of sin. You know, right. not defend us. You understand? Bring That's it. right. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it up. Speak unto the children of Israel. And this is the reason why they hate to see the prophets. The prophets are edifying our people, bringing them back to God's laws. Right. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of God. Read. That's right. And bid them that they make them fringes. In bid means command them. Read. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. You know what a fringe is? As he spoke, a garment is clothing, right? He said, bend them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. If you look down at the brothers, we all have fringes on. These are fringes. We got them on our shirts at the end of our garments. This is God commanded. He gave us a dress code. Right. Let's see what this reason why these fringes are important. Bring it out. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Are we still generating? Then guess what? These laws endure forever. Read. Right. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. A ribbon of blue. As you see, we all got ribbon of blues on the end of our uh, garments. Oh, on these fringes. Right. So we're yeah. keeping these laws that commandments that the Most High gave. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. And remember all the commandments of the Lord. Because I'm going to tell you something. We can remember, but there's an action behind it. What is that action? And do them. And do them. That's right. And that's for our good. That's where we get our knowledge and wisdom from. God's laws. But guess what? God said we're what? Destroyed for that lack of knowledge. You understand? Give me Hosea 4 and 6. We're destroyed for that lack of knowledge. Because our people don't like discipline. They don't like order. Right. And you think that you can go into the kingdom of the most high doing what you want? Let me ask you something. You see how our women dress today. You think they actually walk into the kingdom dressed like that? Bring it out. Well, even our men. You think they our men could go into the kingdom sagging their pants, got their buttocks shown? Bring it out. You really think that? You think the Most High is not looking down? If we was a people that He created to be above all people upon the face of the earth, 
a royal priesthood, holy children. Do you think he's Bring looking down at his children and being proud of what he see? Teach. Bring it up. Nah. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. He said, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. My people are the so-called Israelites, the so-called blacks, the Spanish and Native Americans. Uh, These right, are the right. children of God. Right, he said, right. they are my people. Right. Dead. That's a possessive word, am I, is it not? He said, my people. Read. Because thou has rejected knowledge. We did what? Because thou has rejected knowledge. You know how a parent give children rules to follow? And then when that child get a little older, he start getting hard-headed and start thinking, I'm grown and don't have to follow their rules. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of kids that we know do that because we can go to the juvenile we can go to the juvenile uh, jail system. We can go to the penitentiaries. And our people are in there to the pa uh, capacity. Right. Bring it you know up. Because why? We reject the rules that our parents give us. Guess what? We as a people, as a nation, we rejected the word of God. Right. I will also reject thee. So God rejected us. Hey, if you, hey, you get old enough and you don't want to follow your parents' rules, you got to go. Hey, when we had, when we didn't want to keep the most high rules, we had to go. Bring it up. He kicked us right up out the land. Bring it up. He sent us right into slavery. He said, you don't want to follow me? Guess what? You want to follow your oppressors. Bring it up. what your oppressors gave you. This right here. This is what our people worship. This devil right here. Bring it up. You understand? We worship this devil. We worship the doctrine that came with it. Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, Bring 4th of July, we worship all those holidays of this demon right here. Right. Right. We don't keep anything that the Most High God gave us. Passover, First Fruits, Feast of the Living De uh, Bread, Bring the Day of Atonement. We don't keep God's holy days. We follow this man. Bring it out. We Bring have out. made this man right here our God. Bring it out. And that's what the Most High said. He said, you what? You rejected my laws. I'm going to also reject thee. Teach that thou shalt be no priest to me. Now we ain't priests. We thugs. We Bring thugs. The world fear us. They cross the street when they see us. They don't want to be around us. They call the police on us for nothing. Bring it out. They shoot us down in the streets. Because why? Because they look at our life and it means nothing to them. Bring it out. God loves us. Right. We the children of the most high God. That's right. They ain't. They ain't. They ain't. But we are. That's why they hate us. Read. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. What do we forget? The law of thy God. We was rejected because we forgotten the law of God. Read. I will also forget thy children. He don't forget what? Thy children. Our children were born in captivity. From one generation to the next generation, our children were born in captivity. And our children are getting shot down in these streets. Bring you as a young black man, hey, you lucky to be alive today. Right. Our people are getting gunned down. How many people you know your age done got What's killed? Right? Got locked up. up. Is it many? Hey, Most High rejected our children. Right. Because yeah. guess what? If we're weak as parents, guess what the children are? They wicked too. Yes. Bring it up. Our parents, go, hey, the children are going to follow the example of the parents. If our parents are in the midst of sin, guess what? We're raising our kids up in the midst of sin. Yes. Bring it up. So we got to come back to the Most High God. You know how to come back to the Most High God? You know how to come back to uh, God? What do they teach you to come back to the Most High? What do you have to do? We're going to show you. Hey, you ought to realize something. They didn't teach you what sin was, and they did not teach you how to come back to God. Bring it up. Bring it up. You understand? You can sit there and say, hey, Christ is black. They could teach you that. But if they say Christ is black didn't give you the doctrine of this of this evil demon right here, what good did it do? Didn't do any no good at all. You don't know how to repent and return back to the most high. But hey, the prophets of God are going to show you. Read. Bring it up. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 47. Bring it up. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. Right now, that's what you're doing. You're sitting here remembering. You're sitting here letting these thoughts go through your head. Man, I wasn't taught to. I don't know how to return back to the Most High. That's right. I didn't know I was an Israelite. Right. 
Bring it out. I, I didn't really understand that this Bible was the history book of my forefathers. Yeah, the history right. book of my people. The greatest book that ever been created is the book of your family. Yeah, yeah. Right. You got to understand the same Bible that everybody got in their house all throughout this whole world is the history book of your forefathers. Right. Our forefathers are the greatest people that ever walked this earth. That's right. Right. You have a you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility as a young man to come back and stand up for the most high and take the charge of restoring your people back to greatness. Right. That's the thing. When we say Black History Month, guess what? It's time to start a new month. A new month, because each and every month is a struggle to raise our people out of the conditions that we're in. Bring it out, bring it out. It ain't a time to celebrate. It's a time to put on these boots and go to work. Right. To raise our people up. We can't celebrate 400 years of breaking God's law. Bring it out. We got to start something new in this earth. Coming right. back to the most high. Bring it out. To repent and turn away from our sins. That's right. how we uplift the people. Read. Right. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves in the land, whether they were carried captives, and repent. And do what? And repent. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American. Hey, the Most High is asking you to return back to him and repent. Yeah. Right. Right. And make supplication unto thee in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, We have sinned. We have what? We have sinned. We as a nation, we have sinned against the Most High God. We Lord. have broken God's law. Bring it out. The churches told us that the laws were done away with. Guess what? The Most High said we have son sinned and done what? And have done perversely. Guess what? Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, these are worshiping other gods. Bring we out. have done perversely and did what? We have committed wickedness. Hey. Through following the ways of our oppressor, we have did nothing on this earth but commit wickedness. Look around. Our people are in the midst of sin. Our women are in the midst of whoredom. Our men are whoremongers. Our children are oppressors. They're gangbangers. We got to realize we got to turn back to the Most High God That's with right. all our might and with all our soul. We got to come back to the Most High's laws. You right. understand? We got to come back and do what's right. We got to stand up as men. Give me Psalms 94 and 16. I want to give you this last verse before you walk off. I want you to understand something. Hey, are you a strong black man? Hey, you're going to learn what it means to be strong. Bring it up. Psalms chapter 94, verse 16. Bring it up. Who will rise up for me? What's your name, brother? Hey, Jamon, my name is Yuanathan. I want you to understand something. The Most High asked you a question. Read it again. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? He said, who's going to rise up for me against the evildoers? Who's going to rise up for me against the men that gave you this? The men that gave you things to go against your uh, your God, the God of Israel. He said, who's going to rise up for me? Who's going to rise up to help raise my children out of captivity? Read. Bring it out. Uh, who? Will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. He said, who's going to stand up for me? You look around you, brother. You got men standing up today. Strong men. Men that have no fear. Oh, men that will come out here because we love you. Because the most high loves you. Right. You right understand? Now. This is the reason why we're here. Because we love our people. We're here to give our people the sense of this word. Something that's, that's right. been hid in this earth. So, hey, if you believe, hey, if you love God, hey, keep God's commandments. Come back and learn how to keep the Most High. I'm going to give you one more law right quick. Because you got to understand something. The Most High believes in order. You understand? And guess what? We got to show you your sin. Give me Bring, it Bring it out. First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So guess what? The head of every man is Christ. Christ is our head. You understand? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Hey, black woman, understand something. It ain't, it is no equality uh, with the most high. He said that the head of every woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Christ has a head and it's God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So when the word is coming out, brother, when we're reading this word, the word coming out. So whenever you're reading the Bible or you hear this word coming out, guess what you're supposed to do? 
every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Dishonor you know. Christ. You dishonor Christ your head when your uh, when the word is coming out your head covered. You love God. You love Christ. You're gonna keep your head covered. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still covered. Yeah, that's where you're coming from. So you love Christ? Uh -huh. Oh, you love looking good. It varies, varies. Huh? Read that again. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. Who's on your head again, brother? Is it not Christ? The same man that gave his life for you. Nope. So we could be redeemed back to the most high. This man that's uh, endured uh, a straight cold lynching, then hung on a cross, whipped to a bone was showing. You, know, you wouldn't want to take your hat off for that man. The man that loves us so much that he would endure that for us. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. You gonna still keep your head covered? Yeah, at this moment I am. Okay. Guess what? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you that the love of God. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Read. First John 5. The book of First John, chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it up. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. Because we know our people say they love God all the time, right? Read. That we keep his commandments. We're supposed to keep God's commandments. That's how we love God. Read. And his commandments are not grievous. It shouldn't Bring grieve it you to take your hat off your head. Because the opposite of love is hate. Bring it up. The opposite Bring it up. of not keeping God's love is hatred. You understand? So you saying, hey, I don't care about... Your son, I don't care about you. I don't care about our people. Because understand something. Sin is what keeps us in slavery. Right. This is the reason why we're still here now. This is the reason why we're still suffering right now. This is why we get shot down in the streets. Because our people, we love to look good, but following the word of the Most High God, we find that a hard thing to do. Yeah. Hey, now we ain't got to deal with it. Brother, brothers do want to stay in the midst of that sin. Hey, understand something. When you oppose the most high, you oppose Christ and you are anti-Christ. Right. You have to understand that. There's, there's no uh, ways around of worshiping God. It's either his way or the highway. You understand? You know. It's repent or die. Simple as that. And, you know, we don't want to see our people dead. We want to see our people repent and come back to the most high. Breaking news tonight. There has been a staggering number of black and Latino A 12 year old black boy was shot area. and killed outside. A young black a woman was arrested for a traffic police. violation. A black man was, was shot and killed in the car. Just With three days after the, the police had placed her. The aftermath was aired live on Facebook. 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 Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Wake up, Israel. Wake up.
working so hard to serve God And why when I say that I'm a Jew with sound art For years I've been walking around saying that I'm a black man I ain't saying that no more, it's sound art, man This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ Please subscribe to our YouTube channels Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.